Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the Scarecrow channel. Back here with another video. Today I would like to show you how to get Google's Photosphere on your Samsung Galaxy S3 that is not yet running 4.2.2. So I have just a Galaxy S3 on Rogers here in Canada. I am still running, actually I just got upgraded the other day to 4.1.2 and it did not come with Photosphere, it didn't come with um, anything like that. So, But I wanted um, to run Photosphere on this uh, phone so I've found a way to do that. So I hope you know what Photosphere is. If not, uh, let me just give you a quick uh, 30 second about that. So Photosphere is a panoramic, a go basically Google's panoramic camera app. So let me just kind of launch it in here really quick like. So, so there's, uh, as you see, um, I hope that you can see, there we go. So this is and this is the basically this comes with the Nexus phones and when you click on the camera um, button here you have this um, kind of globe kind of setting. So what this allows you to do is actually be able to take uh, 360 panoramic views and actually uh, 360 and not just in in you know in in the hers in the horizontal but also in the vertical as well so basically you're making a, a street view kind of um, you're making a street view shot so it tells you pretty much where to go and you just follow the arrows and just like that and then later you just hit the button and you render it and you get you know, full 360, as you would see on, on Google Street View pictures. So, very awesome, you know, very neat if you're a photo buff and you want to share this with Google Plus and that. So, anyway, so I don't have this, didn't come with a OTA or anything. So, but you can see here I got a camera app and a gallery, which is different than my Samsung camera app. And Samsung Gallery here. So this, what this does is, uh, it's an. So I found this APK, and I will share it down below here with you. So what this does is side loads a second camera app and a second gallery app. Gallery app. And when you open that gallery, or when you open up the camera, it will let you now choose. Basically, this is the 4.2.2 Nexus. Um, experience here so you have these kind of um, toggle settings here that um, you know that <clears throat> that you can do here with um, with gestures so kind of very neat different approach here so but uh, anyway I just uh, wanted to share that with you and let you know that it is possible to get Photosphere on your non-Nexus device, uh, very cool um, feature that you know every everybody that doesn't have one wants one on these Galaxy S3s. So check down the link below, just install it, and just go next, 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 install it. I'll give you a second gallery and camera app, and you're ready to rock. So that's uh, that's pretty much that. So. You know, very easy. I'm not going to go through the install because it's just like installing any other app. The key is uh, down below here to get the file, and I'll make that available to you, uh, no problems. So anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I very much appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know down below. I don't know if it... Um, actually, I do know that it works with other phones as well. I think if you are on... 4.1 and above this should be no problem with whatever phone you have Let me know down below if if it's not working for you With with a different phone, but I do believe that uh, Even the Samsung Galaxy S4s uh, will take this and they don't come with 
with the Photosphere app either. So, and they will take this app and it will work for you as well. So, if you have a phone that it doesn't work for you, let me know down below. I'm kind of interested to know if there are any. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Then you'll get these videos as soon as they come out. And I believe that is it for my time. And I do thank you for yours. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>